Welcome to deploying passwordless authentication with Okta. Here's how to enable FastPass using Okta Verify as an authenticator. Begin by opening the admin console for your tenant. Navigate to Security, then Authenticators. In the Authenticator section, enable FastPass using Okta Verify by selecting Actions, then Edit. On the Okta Verify screen in the Verification Options section, select Okta FastPass All Platforms. In the Okta FastPass section, select Show the sign in with the Okta FastPass button. Selecting this button does three things. First, it walks first-time users through installing Okta Verify and registering a device. Second, it allows an alternative if the end user's configuration does not permit silent sign-on. For example, Mac users without a device management solution like Jam or a Safari SSO browser extension will not be able to sign in silently. Enabling the button allows these users a way to sign in. And finally, it acts as a backup if Okta Verify does not load automatically. Here's what end users will see if you enable the show the sign in with Okta Fast Pass button. A note on Okta Verify with biometrics enabled. If the end user has Okta Verify installed on the device with biometrics enabled for Okta Verify, Okta will prompt the user for biometrics every time irrespective of the app-level sign-up policy. Using biometrics means that the user has satisfied a higher level of assurance. It simplifies the login to any other app requiring a higher level of assurance which the user may attempt to access during their current session. Let's create a fast pass group. We are using bookmark apps for demonstration purposes, but in your environment, you would use whatever app integration you need for each app. Begin in the admin console. Navigate to directory, groups, and click add group. In the add group dialog, enter a name. For example, fast pass group one, and optionally, a group description. Next, navigate to your directory, then people, and click add person. In the Add Person dialog, add a first name, last name, username, and primary email. Add your own email to the secondary email field. In the Groups field, select the FastPass group you created in Step 2. Now click Save. This is the group you'll use to walk through the steps for the first time use case called Simple Security with One Factor Authentication. Optionally create two more groups, FastPass Group 2 and FastPass Group 3 for the other two use cases described in this video. Now let's create a global session policy. Configuring passwordless authentication requires you to change your Okta global session policy by adding a higher priority rule. This change shifts responsibility for defining and enforcing strict authentication requirements to each of your app's sign-on policy. Before you remove this global requirement and your global session policy, make sure to protect all of your apps with a strong app sign-on policy. It's a best practice to leave the default global session policy with its original setting. In the admin console, under security, select global session policy. A best practice is to add global session policy to the name so that it's easy to see which policies are global session policies when you read the logs. Assign this policy to the group you created in the previous procedure. It will look similar to this. Now click Create Policy and Add Rule. In the Add Rule dialog, enter a rule name. In the Multi-Factor Authentication field, select Not Required. Passwordless authentication is incompatible with requiring a secondary factor. Deselecting this option removes the requirements for MFA for every app in this org and will make the global session policy defer completely to the application-level global session policy to determine what authenticators are needed to access the app. 
Leave all other default values and select Create Rule. Simple security with one-factor type authentication. In this use case, only one-factor type is required to authenticate. The main objective is to show OctaFast Pass in action to offer passwordless experience. If the policy does not require biometrics, this example is classified as having a medium assurance level. Begin by creating a bookmark app. From the admin console, navigate to Applications and select Browse App Catalog. Next in the search box type Bookmark App. Select Bookmark App and click Add. On the Add Bookmark App screen, change the application label to Bookmark App 1. Enter a URL and click Done. Because this app is for demonstration purposes only, you can choose any URL you like. In a real environment, you would use the URL of the app you're setting up SSO for. Next select Assign, then Assign to Groups, and then select Assign for Fast Pass Group 1. Do not click the group name unless you want to review the group properties. Now click Done. Next, create an authentication policy. Create an authentication policy to allow for one-factor authentication so end users can sign in without a password. When you create an authentication policy, you should consider who the policy applies to. Which specific users, groups, or user types should this policy apply to? In your admin console, navigate to Security, Authentication Policy and select One Factor Access. Select the Applications tab. Select Add App. In the Add App dialog, add Bookmark App 1. Now, test the sign-on flow. You should be directly signed into the app without any user interaction. Alternate sign-on flow. If you select any instead of registered in the device state, users will always be redirected to the Okta sign-in widget. No silent authentication. FIDO2 Web Authent. In this use case, the end user will be offered a passwordless experience with a Web Authent authenticator on an unmanaged device. In this example, this is classified as a medium assurance level. FIDO2 Web Authentication is a standard web API that is incorporated into web browsers and related web platform infrastructures that's used to securely authenticate users on the web across various sites and devices. You can configure WebAuthn as a multi-factor authentication or MFA option. The WebAuthn standard provides users with new methods to authenticate with MFA factors that are enabled and configured specifically for WebAuthn. When you configure a WebAuthn authenticator, users must provide additional verification when signing into Okta. Users can enroll in up to 10 instances of the same WebAuthn authenticator. Users set themselves up either from the sign-in widget or from settings on their end-user dashboard. Let's add the WebAuthn authenticator. Okta's WebAuthn biometric authenticator follows the FIDO2 web authentication standard. From your admin console, go to Security, then Authenticators. On the Setup tab, click Add Authenticator. In the Add Authenticator dialog, click Add on the FIDO2 or WebAuthn tab. In the Add FIDO2 Web Authentic dialog, leave all default settings and click Add. When you configure your org with user verification set to Discourage, End users who enroll a WebAuthn factor do not see the WebAuthn enrollment names of the factors they enroll. They're listed generically as authenticator, and no other details about the factor are provided. Now let's create a bookmark app. In your admin console, navigate to Applications, and select Browse App Catalog. In the search box type Bookmark App. 
Select Bookmark App and click Add. On the Add Bookmark App screen, change the application label to Bookmark App 2. Enter a URL and click Done. Because this app is for demonstration purposes only, you can choose any URL you like. In a real environment, you would use the URL of the app you're setting up SSO for. On the Assignments tab, select Assign, Assign to Groups, and then select Assign for FastPass Group 2. Do not click the group name unless you want to review the group properties. Now click Done. Let's create an authentication policy to allow for biometric authentication for end users. Begin in the admin console and navigate to security and authentication policies. Select add policy. Give the new policy a name. You'll see a default sign on policy with a catch all rule that requires passwords. Select add rule. In the add rule dialog, add a rule name. For example, bookmark app to rule. In the user's use type field, select any user type. In the user's group membership includes a field, select at least one of the following groups. Start typing the name of the group you created in the prerequisites, and then select it. In the user is field, select any user. In the device state field, select any. This turns off the silent pulling feature of the Octa sign and widget, which means the sign and widget will display options for the authenticators you've enabled for your users. Use default values for device platform as any platform, and the user's IP is any IP. Also leave the following custom expression as true field, blank. You can use the Octa expression language to add a custom expression to an authentication policy. For the user must authenticate with field, choose Possession Factor. Choosing Possession Factor would exclude password as an authenticator in this policy. Finally, leave the default values in the other fields, and select Save. Select the Applications tab, and Add App. Click Add next to the Bookmark app, and Close. Test the sign-on flow in another browser instance or incognito window. Navigate to the Okta End User Dashboard for this org. On the sign-on widget, users will be prompted to authenticate with their security key or biometric authenticator. Registered and unmanaged devices with two-factor type authentication. In this use case, the end user will be offered a passwordless experience with Okta FastPass with biometrics on a registered but not managed device. This is classified as a high assurance. Create a bookmark app. In your admin console, navigate to Applications and select Browse App Catalog. In the search box, type Bookmark App. Select Bookmark App and click Add. On the Add Bookmark App screen, change the application label to Bookmark App 3. Now enter a URL and click Done. Because this app is for demonstration purposes only, you can choose any URL you like. In a real environment, you would use the URL of the app you're setting up SSO for. Select Assign, Assign to Groups, and then select Assign for FastPass Group 3. Finally, click Done. Create an authentication policy. Create an authentication policy to allow for biometric authentication for end users. These steps use one of the bookmark applications you created in the prerequisite section. Begin by navigating to security and then authentication policies. Select add a policy and give the new policy a name. Click Add Rule. In the Add Rule dialog, add a rule name. In the user's user type is field, select any user type. 
In the user's group membership includes a field, select at least one of the following groups. Start typing the name of the group you created in the prerequisites, and then select it. In the device state field, select any. This turns off the silent pulling feature of the Okta sign and widget, which means the sign and widget will display options for the authenticators you've enabled for your users. Use default values for device platform, any platform, and the user's IP, any IP. Leave the following custom expression as true field, blank. You can use the Okta expression language to add a custom expression to an app global session policy. In the access field, select allowed after successful authentication. For the user must authenticate with field, choose possession factor. In the access with Okta fast pass is granted field. Choose if the user approves a prompt in Okta verify or provides biometrics. This way the user will always see the sign and screen and will have to select which authenticator to use. Leave the default values in the other fields and select say. Next, go to the Applications tab and add an app. Select Add next to the bookmark app. You may now click Close. Let's test the sign on Flow. In another browser instance or incognito window, navigate to the Okta End User Dashboard for this org. You should see the sign and widget with an option for Okta Verify. If you choose that option, you'll be asked for biometric confirmation. Thank you for choosing deploying passwordless authentication with Okta.